Hello, welcome back to Medium and... I don't... Nope. Nope, no, 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 no. So what, we're going back now? I'm not gonna lie, it felt good, putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. Good news? What good comes out of it exactly? Huh? Well, you help a couple of ghosts and you are so- oh god damn it. No. Okay, where were they? Hmm? What? Will I see them? No, I won't. We've been here. Yeah, this is how oh, I haven't played for a while and I forgot everything. Yes, this is the examination room in which. Okay. And echo. Those guys. Oh, right there. It's okay. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. One down, one to go. Better get to it. Do you, okay, you have some idea of where to go. I'm gonna trust you. No! What are you? Stop! Ah! Ah! Why does it look like some place? I'm gonna need to hide. No. Okay. I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. Okay, I think I see a mirror, but doesn't look good. Some sort of a conference room. Kinda. I heard some whispers. And yep. I gotta go, the voting's about to start. You know what they say, if you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice, that's the guy. Okay, but we don't know his name and you need his name, don't you?
and I don't really see anything else besides a lot, lots of chairs. This is the... wait. Okay, we're somewhere else now. Oh, this place looks the same and the everywhere. List. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. Hmm. But which one is it? And everyone came, of course. Oh, seven. Yes, Christina. Wait, we can cross out every woman. Okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> okay, something to write on and something to write with. Okay, so we can cross out number five. So that's one, two, three, four. No, no, no. Eight, nine. So instead of nine numbers, we only need to check six. Easy, easy. No, 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 no. I want to go out. There's that. This one, number five. Look at it. No, we need number one, nine. Why are you so inter interested in those chairs? There's something over here. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. Okay. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. He sat across Boris. Which number is he? Boris, Boris, Boris number nine. So we need to look across nine. Okay. Got them. Press it again. And if I remember correctly, nine was the last number over here. So this is that. And I think this is one number four. Do we need to check every chair for you to be sure that I've done it correctly? Okay. Morris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. And we're looking for Nicholas. Okay, so let's check it. Seat number nine. Okay. So this is Boris's seat. So the one I'm looking for is that one. This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. Like in this chair? That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. I'm one step. Oh my god, it saved. The game just saved. Uh. No, you can't.
I'm fairly sure he's in this room. Can I save? I have no idea how he works and I don't want to find out, really. Okay. I'm not curious about anything really. I just want to get out of here. Time for you to get some rest. You've earned it, Nicholas. Thank you, madam. You're welcome. Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. Hmm. Hell. Anywhere is better than here. Yes. Just let me oh. pick you up already. Well, there's a mirror right over here. What? So, Mr. Rekovich is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her. But I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's poor Mr. Tarkovsky to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself mostly, likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone ha her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations, and I swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Okay, I might go be going crazy because I keep hearing sounds. Just like I did while playing Sinking City. Yes. <sighs> Fucking finally. Can we now slide down? Just, do you still have something to say? Because I still have skip dialogue. Hello. Time to get back to the day room. You really needed a uh... Get a minute. This place. This is where it started. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill, where it tasted death, and liked it. Okay. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the speck 
I don't want to see her. I just want to get out of here. I have a feeling that we will have to run. Open up. Plus this. Okay. Hmm. So worth it. I love you, bolt cutters. I am not willing to explore this hotel. More than I need to. Kinda sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. Or a movie star. Like, in a movie you don't use your real name for. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you sort of. Spy name it is. A room. I don't want to really go in there. Okay, Marianne. Let's see what sadness wanted me to see. I don't want to see it though. I hope she's all right. Mm -hmm. She's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, the game... Pretty? No. Okay, I thought the game crashed. So, I keep seeing it in my dreams. The other place, dust and death. As far as the eye can see, a feeling of nothingness staring at my soul. I wake up talking, feeling the dust burning through my lungs. I beg for it to stop. He says that there's no helping it. Then again, he would say that, wouldn't he? Okay, why is say? <laughs> no cops. There. Um, Go. I don't wanna go. <laughs> oh. <sighs> That's the trailer. God, you're all right. I was so worried. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame, from helplessness, from rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Yeah. Hey. Uh, here. Okay. Hey. 
Why don't you tell me something about this place? It, it's the day room. We used to play here. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He... I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you... bring me here? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. She clearly said that she don't want you to see. <sighs> I still appreciate this double vision and how they executed it. So, this is so unnerving. Richard? Are you there? You mean over there? I can't really see anything on this bottom part. Um, can you do something with it? Oh, right, you are talking. Okay, so we don't have the corresponding item. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketch, get the ready, and then he would close his eyes and start talking, describing all the th things he saw in his mind's eye. The horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the in indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress, but finally I understood is so to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. I think this is all in this room you can get out. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I see something on the spirit. <laughs> There's something in the spirit world, but I cannot quite get to it. Oh. 
I remember the first time I met him, working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man, wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder, like a scared animal. His parents had died in the wars of uprising, of what he'd gone through the years that followed. He did not want to speak and I never pressed him, but it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. A special boy. This is the way. Marcy. Um. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lillian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Mm. Why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lillian, I I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? Huh? So her name is Lillian. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so, he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I was very skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. And you became jealous? Oh, oh right. Uh, depending on which, in which one I press the button in that road, I can pick it up. I can I can get it on both simultaneously? Thomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination, mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would have weave. The way he described them with every minute detail, it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it, as if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration go to waste, that would be an unforgivable sin. Hmm. I don't think he did a bad thing. He... The boy would never... Okay. Yeah, the boy himself would never have thrown it, would he? Not bad. There's nothing in either worlds. Hey, well, I think this is as good a place as any. end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!